until I was maybe, I would say 12, I was listening to a lot of uh, 90s country music and stuff like that. And I was kind of stuck in that field. And then my brother handed me over two Tom Petty solo albums. And it was like, everything changed. And little Liza Jane has got a head in her head. For the songwriting, most of it is musical. My influences are, you know, Bob Dylan, Neil Young, Tom Petty, uh, Pete Seeger, people like that. Um, but for the playing and the idea of a musician on the road traveling, playing, I get more inspiration in a traveling musician from reading in books like Jack Kerouac or Ernest Hemingway. It changes your outlook on everything and that reflects on the music. I, I write on the side as well as write songs, so a lot of the stuff that I want to write about comes out that way and I don't turn it into song. Uh, when it comes to songs themselves, I, I have no control over it, in my opinion. I've, I could probably tell you maybe five songs that I remember writing. And I know I've written the other ones, I'm not trying to steal them or anything, but the other songs, are they come out quickly. They come out vaguely to me and it's almost like when it's done I have to relearn it because it's come out so quickly and I don't, a lot of people say they craft their songwriting or they are tradesmen or something, they've got it all down but I think it, it literally just comes out of nowhere and you have no control over it and go six months without writing a song and all of a sudden ten songs can come out, you know. The most important thing about the music uh, that has kept me going for so long is the fact that anybody can get together and do it. Um, and I remember when I was in high school, it was explained that somebody from China can get together with somebody from Indonesia and somebody from America. And you can put a sheet of music in front of all of them and they will all be playing the same thing and they all understand it. And it's uh, the universal language. You can feel it. Just as it's almost as if if you had no hearing or you had no eyesight, you would be able to gain that sense back. It fills that void, you know, whatever it is. You know, a lot of people might take different vices to get through their problems and that, but ultimately, the way I see it, music can heal everything. Mentally, there are so many different things that music can do, and whether it's the emotion in the song or the songwriting or the inspiration or the storytelling. Everybody can relate to something in music. It's, it speaks to everybody and it speaks to me, so. Um, I've done three CDs so far, and uh, the first one was with a band called Blackwater. And uh, we've since disbanded. The second one was a solo album, which was all acoustic oriented tunes. I wanted to focus a lot more on the folk music and what a song can do on its own without being covered up in layers and making it sound pretty and not just the bare song. And uh, the most recent one was more a cross of R&B. Um, there was a folk tune on it, but it was mostly R&B, rock, kind of stuff like that. You go in meeting new musicians, especially experienced ones, and there's plenty in this town that have been around doing it for 10, 20, 30 years. And when they, not that they let you play, but when they accept you into their, you know, wolf pack, and they call you back again to do it, it's a good feeling. The Rad Zone has my first two CDs and we will be getting the new release. Um, if you want to check it out online, you can go to either YouTube and just search Cody McMillan, or you can go to Facebook, the ReverbNation.com slash Cody McMillan, and it'll come up and there's uh, five tunes up there right now they can preview.
I don't know what it is. But when you're up there, it's like you're not there. And when you're off there, it's, that's where you want to be. And you don't, I, I don't know why. But when you get up there and that happens, it's, it's like, I don't know, riding a spaceship or something like that. You just stars everywhere. And then when you get off, you're looking back from Earth.